What is up everybody, I'm your legendary commander and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In this video, we're going to talk about my massive hate boner for the battle axe and why I absolutely love the great sword and the maul. So you might be asking, why do you hate a great axe? It literally does a d12. And that's exactly the problem. Statistically speaking, a great axe has a 1 in 12 chance to roll any of the numbers just as equally. That's an 8.3% chance for those who don't like fractions. Meanwhile, the Greatsword can do 2d6, which effectively means it can still do 12 damage. However, there is a caveat. The Greatsword and the Maul both have a different way of handling damage. By rolling 2 die instead of 1, what ends up happening is you're more likely to hit your average number than your outliers like 12, or in the Greatsword and Maul's case, 2 because they can't roll 1s. Statistically speaking, it has a 1 in 6 chance to roll a 7. And for those who don't like fractions, again, that is a 16.6 repeating percent chance to hit. But the joys of a greatsword don't exactly end there because it has a 5 out of 36 chance to roll a 6 or a 5 out of 36 chance to roll an 8 as well. Which means you have a 16 out of 36 chance to roll a 6, 7, or 8, which is half damage or more. And if we keep going up that chain, anything of half damage or more is a 26 out of 36. That's a 72.2 repeating chance to do over or at least half damage. Your great axe to do 6 or better is a 7 out of 12 or 58.3 repeating percent chance to roll that or better. So up to this point, you've been watching the axe and the sword swing against each other. They both swung, well, more than 15 times, but we subtracted all the critical hits. As we're not counting the luck on your d20, we're counting the luck on your d12 or your d6s. And this is the total damage they did. The great axe came out at 90 damage. And the great sword, 117. Now I know what you're going to say. What about great weapon fighter? Well, uh, I hate to break it to you, that's where the Greatsword gets an even better chance. Because suddenly, we're now re-rolling 1s and 2s at least once. Baldur's Gate seems to keep on re-rolling 1s and 2s until they're not 1s or 2s, but we'll just run with it. As if you can only re-roll it once. So no 1s or 2s for at least the first roll, which makes it 10 plus 12 for a great axe. That's 22. This increases your chance to hit a 6 or better 63.6363 repeating percent chance. Now for the great sword. Because you don't keep ones or twos with the great weapon fighting style, it effectively turns the first set of dice into d4s, which means you have a four times four, making that 16, plus the original 36 that you'd have previously. This results in 52 combinations of dice rolls. With the elimination of the ones and twos on the first set of rolls, it completely obliterates the combination options, being all 16 opportunities will at least roll you a six. Of course, if you get a one or two, you can re-roll it, which we're probably gonna do. And that's where we get our 36 extra combinations that we could have. This results in 52. Now, like the Great Axe, we're gonna add them up and that gives you 42 over 52 or an 80.7% chance. And that's rounded down by the way, to roll a six or better. And you may have noticed I have Lazelle swinging the Great Axe and the Great Sword now. That's because she has the great weapon fighting style. Here are the consistent amounts of damage they're doing. Now, I'm not gonna leave ignoring the elephant in the room. The Great Axe won that second fight, but you need to keep in mind these are random samples. The first one was out of 15, and the second set of rounds was out of 10, where the Great Axe just happened to roll high. And then meanwhile, the Great Sword rolled low. To roll a 12 with the Great Axe is much more likely than to roll a 12 on a Great Sword or a Maul. A Great Sword has a 2.7% chance if you don't re-roll your 1s and 2s. So a d12 is more likely to roll its 12, but as I've said before, it's also just as likely to roll its 1. The Great Sword or the Maul is more likely at least to give you a consistent number, and it's far less likely to give you a, well, you can't even get a 1, but a 2. And so if you're moving in to make a stealth tilt, the Great Sword is going to give you consistency and an average roll. The Great Axe is going to give you a better chance of rolling that 12. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to tell your friends. But y'all take care. And you'll never catch me with a great axe.